Hey Gemini, special guest of the month. Welcome into Ashun's Tarot Garden. Today we're going to talk about your financial shift from the month of October into November. See where your finances are right now and where they're headed. Okay. Okay. So where we are now, we have the Emperor card for you guys. And it says you have to pursue your goals similar to the way that the emperor does, structure strategically and win a lot of pers uh, perseverance. Teeth are always in style, okay? When I, when I hear teeth are always in, st in style, it makes you think of your smile. You have to smile through the hard times, okay? You have to, you're like in the nine of wands right now. You feel like you're barely making it. You're barely pushing through. You're tired, you kind of want to give up, but you're not giving up because you have these dreams, these goals, and these ambitions, okay? And it's just like, keep pushing, keep smiling, keep grinding, okay? You cannot give up on the things that you want. You can't give up on your goals, all right? Definitely feeling that for you guys. Y'all are constantly having to, to think and plan, okay? Trying to make a way out of no way, all right? Where you are going into for the month of November, we have the High Priestess right here. And it says, slow down and reflect on what you've learned and to acquire even more knowledge before making a decision or taking action. It's not about how big your pencil is. It's about how you write your name. Okay, so for me, this High Priestess is just screaming out in the month of November. It's not about how much money you have. Okay, this is not the time to be flexing. This is not the time to be overspending, over gifting or doing anything like that. It's not about the title, the position and stuff. It's about how you how you use it. Okay. How do you make it benefit you? How do you multiply what it is that you're getting? Okay. So it's just like if you get more money or you come into some more money, are you going to flex it and go spend money on things that you really don't need or are you going to find a way to invest it are you going to save it are you going to you know how are you going to use it to to the best of it like yes you've obtained this um yes you've obtained you know getting this new position in life or at your job okay and this is something that you've been working hard towards now now that you've got it Okay, it's not about you being the big man on campus, but it's about how are you going to treat others? How are you, you know, going to define this role? How are you going to make an impact? Is what is what I'm feeling for you guys. What are you going to create out of this? Okay, so it's just like anybody can come along and have some money, but how are you going to create this? We're not going to read any reversal cards. Gemini, we have the page of swans here with the will of fortune. And for me, it's just telling me that you are hoping, you're hoping for things to change, for something to just turn around for you financially. You're hoping that, you know, your luck changes right now. I feel like you guys could be going through some things with this five of swords and this eight of pentacles. This could be at work. You could be having some issues at work. You could be having some issues with a child. Um, a, a child is going through some changes or it could be like some changes that's going on with their children and the, the, the detail of, you know, some kind of financial structure it could be like some child support or something or, you know, you having to spend more money with them going on field trips or I don't know. It's just like something like they could be outgrowing their clothes or something like that. I just feel like it's something that has to do with you guys spending more money on your children. Now, I do also feel like you guys are wishing for some changes to come about with this five of swords and the eight of pentacles. Okay. Some of you guys could have lost out on somebody or somebody could have, um, it's like some kind of something that helped you with some kind of stability. It seemed like it's no longer there. Okay. So this could have been extra money that was in the household or extra money that you were getting. And now it's not there anymore. So it seems like 
<laughs> you have to work a little bit harder. Okay, so a lot of you guys are working longer hours. You're spending more time um, at work than at home. Okay, so a lot of you guys could be having, I feel like a, a change, a shift within your work too as well. Okay. All right, so I do feel like in the month of October, you guys could also be I feel like there's a fire sign where there's issues with the fire sign um, about some kind of financial structure, financial things that's going on within the home. I feel like somebody is comfortable with you spending most of the money or you they've become really, really dependent on you. We do have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Wands and the Magician. I feel like this person is comfortable. This person could just be sitting up in your home or just sitting around and expecting you uh, to take care of them. This could be parents. This could be children or whatever. It's just like somebody's not really doing too much or carrying their weight, but they are expecting you to come in and just do everything or they just know that you're going to take care of everything because we have the eight of the wands here with the magician card. We have the sun card. So once again, this is something that's tied to a child. This could be your, um, like I said, this could be your child. This could be your baby mother, baby father, or whatever it may be. With this eight of wands going into the magician card, Gemini, I do feel like um, whatever somebody needs, they just kind of put it all on you. They send it back to you. And I feel like this is something that they tell you at the last minute. They don't tell you in advance or something that you have to find out from elsewhere. And it's put on you to try to figure out or try to create a way to have some kind of financial um, strategy for it to exist, I guess you can say. Uh, to like compensate whatever needs need to be met. Like you are basically the person who is taking care of everything and everything is on your shoulders. You're the person that everybody depends on, okay? I do feel like it also kind of hits you in the back and it kind of leaves you kind of stressed and strained out, okay? That you're constantly having to use all of your energy to create these things and it kind of just backfires. I do feel like a lot of you guys feel like things backfire. So like when you're spending money or you're giving money to these situations or to these people, I'm really feeling like you're giving money to people, Gemini, and you feel like it backfires because you feel like these people are ungrateful. They don't know all that you had to do and all the tricks and whistles you had to blow and all these different things that you had to do to acquire these funds. These people are just, it's like, it's, a, it's expected of you. It's like, whatever they want, they get from you. And then they go on about their business. Nobody really pays attention to you. Some people are not even asking you if you're okay. I do see that's why you're constantly smiling about things and trying to move forward through your struggles. Okay. A lot of you guys might be going through some things mentally and not even aware of it. All right. So let's talk about where you are at for November with your finances. The nine of swords, I do feel like you guys could be stressed out, okay? Somebody is tired of a situation. This could be a job or just dealing with an individual in particular right here. This could be the child or the, the parent or whoever it may be in your case that you're just tired of dealing with. So in November, it's just like you kind of get fed up with it and you start moving somewhere differently, okay? So some of you guys could be moving across town, going somewhere different. Um, a lot of you guys could just really be elevating okay so i feel like you guys could be committing to a new job committing to some kind of new thing of focusing on yourself so maybe you're taking more time to put money into yourself or put pay more attention to how you look so you're going to get your hair done going to get you some new clothes and stuff like that or things to take care of yourself gemini you feel like you've given too much to other people okay i feel like you're inside a lot you don't spend a lot of time outside i feel like you're just like I don't even have like a wardrobe. I wouldn't even know what to do. 
Um, it's just like you have no presence outside of the home. Okay? That's why I'm feeling like you have no presence outside of the home. So... Some of you guys think staying at home is saving you money, but it's not. Okay, I'm also hearing that somebody could be stressing about some kind of promotion or some kind of, yeah, some kind of promotion. Yes, you are going to be recognized and celebrated very soon, okay? Recognized and celebrated very soon. Some of you guys could be getting a... Um, a promotion with this Knight of Wands is because this person seen your hard work, okay? They seen that you were always on time. You were always available. You put in everything. I feel like you did long, long hours. Somebody who does long hours, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody did a lot of work. Somebody's been there for a long time been, and, you know, putting in a lot of work, a lot of time. They're known throughout this company. Um, they know that you're hardworking, Okay, they know that they can depend on you to show up. Somebody works a lot of night shifts. So, I don't know, somebody's sleep is messed up. They don't get a lot of sleep with this nine of swords. It kind of fluctuates. Okay. You're going to have somebody come around talking about little birdie told me that you got this position. Yeah, the eight of cups. All right, so you guys are moving. Y'all are moving up into a position. We have the six of pentacles here. You're about to be gifted, okay? So you're about to get that promotion. You're about to get that raise. Some of you guys are moving, okay? And this is going to be more beneficial for you guys. Yeah. We got the Queen of Swords with the Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Yes, Lord. It's a lot of good stuff that's coming in for you with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The King with the King of Wands. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Your confidence is about to be overflowing. We got this right here. We got the Devil card with the Justice card and the Sun card. Hold up. It is a commitment, a contract. You are signing a new... Okay, somebody about to get a new contract. Somebody is about to get... Um, what is it? An acceptance letter of the pay and stuff. Yes, you guys are coming together. You're going to have more than enough. Okay, look, Gemini. Out with the old, in with the new. You are feeling good about things. Yes, I love that guy. I love this for you, Gemini. I love this for you. I hope you really enjoyed this reading.